Today, I will walk through how I use Notion for task management using a popular methodology created by David Allen, Getting Things Done or otherwise known as GTD. On the main page, you will first see a navigation bar at the top to jump to the different pages. The first database view is a filter task database view. This is where you can see all the tasks you scheduled for today or that is overdue from the day before. For tasks that you have added a specific date or deadline, it is important that you keep to it hence the importance of showing this view right at the top. Beside this view, you will see four toggles namely, inbox, tomorrow, next seven days, and completed. These are all task database view where they are filtered for what they are. These database views are put close together for a reason. You can easily move the task around depending on your schedule and how productive you are. If you have time to complete more tasks today, you can schedule a task for tomorrow to today. Similarly, if you have a rather tight schedule today, you can move a task from today to tomorrow. If you accidentally mark a task as completed, you can also drag and drop from the completed database view back to where it was. Next up we have the project database views. The gallery view shows all your projects grouped by the default areas personal and work. These areas can rename and customize for what you do, so if you're a student, you can have an area called college or if you're an entrepreneur, you can have an area called business or startup. On each project card, you can see the deadline and a progress bar based on the number of relevant tasks completed. To create a task related to the project, you can simply open the project page then add or schedule a new task inside the page. There are a few more views for the projects like timeline or status of which is up to your preference for how you like to view and manage your projects. Once you have completed a project, you can check the archive property to hide it from all the project database views, but of course accept the archive view. The following view is again a task database. This is one of my favorite view that shows you a brief overview of the upcoming tasks for the week using the timeline layout. On this database view, I can mark a task as completed or reschedule it to another day of the week simply by dragging and dropping to another day of the week. Below the timeline view, we have a list view of scheduled tasks and a calendar view. This allow you to easily view tasks with fixed dates or deadlines. If you want to reschedule a task, you can do so by dragging and dropping it to another date on the calendar. Next up we have two task database list views that shows all our next actions. This is a rather useful part of the GTD system that uses context and filters to help us batch complete our tasks at any given time. If I'm at my computer, I will filter by the context computer to see all relevant tasks that I can complete in one sitting. And perhaps if there's too many tasks grouped under the same context, I can further filter the view to show only tasks labeled under extreme or high priority to get the important things done first. At the end of the session, I can easily remove the filter so that I can use it for a different filter for another point in time. Beside this view, you will see the same list view of tasks but are already grouped by context. This is a quick way to view the tasks under specific context without adding the filter manually. That said, if you're a heavy user with lots of different context options, it might become a long list of tasks that becomes difficult to see, hence the left database view might work better for some depending on each person's use case. Lastly, at the bottom of the main page we have two more task database view both presented in a board view. One by priority and one by energy. These views come in helpful for me especially when I have lots of tasks to deal with and have to review my top priorities and energy levels at a given moment. A quick tip for tasks without an assigned priority or energy is that you can easily click on no priority or no energy to drag and drop any of the task under a priority or energy column to assign the task to the respective option. That's the end of a quick tour of my GTD setup in Notion. If you're looking to implement the GTD system into your workflow or just want to get more things done, be sure to check out this template at www.gettingthingsdone.so. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more Notion tutorials and setups.